Greetings! Anticipating the journey of Starship Flight 3, what lies ahead? Will we witness a breathtaking orbital ascent, the graceful touchdown of two stages, or perhaps something entirely unexpected? While these moments are undoubtedly significant, the voyage holds a myriad of other noteworthy events. As we near the finalized launch date, this installment of Great SpaceX serves as our gateway to delve into the intricacies of Flight 3's journey. So join us as we explore the timeline outlined by SpaceX, guiding us through each phase of this monumental mission. Also, stay tuned till the end of our video for a comprehensive understanding of what lies ahead. Yesterday, SpaceX unveiled the launch schedule for April 14th, with liftoff slated for the morning, Central Standard Time. Adding to the anticipation, esteemed space reporter Christian in Davenport confirmed on X that the FAA is on the brink of approving the license modification necessary for SpaceX's third Starship launch attempt. This milestone is made possible by SpaceX's meticulous preparations, culminating in the successful completion of the wet dress rehearsal test. Looking ahead to the upcoming flight, SpaceX has recently updated the official timeline on their website. Assuming no last-minute changes, the entire process is projected to span approximately four hours commencing at 7 a.m. and concluding by 11 the same morning. While the actual duration may vary, this time frame provides ample flexibility for SpaceX and other systems involved. During this period, a multitude of processes will unfold, categorized into two distinct phases, pre-flight and in-flight. Let's begin by examining the pre-flight procedures. Approximately one hour and 15 minutes prior to liftoff, SpaceX's flight director will confirm the commencement of propellant loading. This critical step is estimated to last between 20 to 30 minutes. At about 53 minutes before liftoff, the crucial process of loading liquid oxygen and liquid methane onto the stages will commence. Prioritizing the booster for fuel loading is strategic, given its larger size compared to the ship. This sequence ensures that both stages are filled concurrently, minimizing potential fuel wastage due to wait times. Moreover, beginning with the booster enhances mass distribution and stability, preventing the upper stage's substantial 1,300-ton mass from exerting excessive pressure on the lower stage. In a notable improvement, the fuel loading process for this launch is anticipated to be expedited, potentially completing in under an hour instead of the previous time frame exceeding an hour. This efficiency stems from SpaceX's ongoing upgrades to the tank farm system, a project spanning several months. This enhancement was demonstrated during the recent wet dress rehearsal test, where SpaceX efficiently loaded over 10 million pounds of fuel within 45 minutes minutes, a remarkable improvement from the previous 90-minute duration. Throughout the fuel loading process, a critical step involves cooling the Raptor engines in both stages. This precautionary measure serves to minimize temperature differentials between the engines and the fuel, mitigating the risk of sudden cold fuel which could potentially damage sensitive engine components such as injectors and manifolds. Between 3 minutes and 30 seconds and 2 minutes and 50 seconds before liftoff, fuel loading on both the booster and ship will reach completion. Within the final 30 seconds, the SpaceX flight director will conduct a final verification before launch. Upon readiness, the flame deflector will be activated just 10 seconds prior to liftoff. Then, at approximately 3 seconds before launch, the engines will ignite, marking the exhilarating moment we've all been anticipating, liftoff. Similar to Flight 2, the transition from engine activation to departure from the launch pad will be brief lasting only about 3 to 5 seconds. This swift process minimizes the impact of thrust on the launch pad, despite SpaceX's enhancements to the launch pad infrastructure. At liftoff, all 33 engines will spring to life simultaneously. Following the lessons learned from the IFT-1 flight, which encountered some engine issues, the subsequent IFT-2 showcased the impressive coordination of all 33 engines working harmoniously after liftoff, generating unparalleled thrust. Therefore, in the third flight, we anticipate a repetition of this remarkable moment. Prior to engine ignition, the water deluge system will activate spraying approximately 350,000 gallons of water to mitigate the intense heat and pressure produced by the 33 engines. SpaceX's confirmation of the system's effectiveness and the second flight ensures its utilization in Flight 3 as well. After departing from the launch pad, Starship and Super Heavy will embark on a southeastern trajectory towards the Gulf of Mexico. 
Around T plus 52 seconds, both stages will encounter the max Q moment, where vehicles experience the highest mechanical stress. Given Starship's successful navigation through max Q in previous flights, we remain optimistic about its performance during this phase. Following max Q, the pivotal stage separation will occur. Initiated around T plus 2 minutes 42 seconds, the booster engines will gradually be cut off, a process known as booster MECO, or main engine engine cutoff. The outer and middle engines will deactivate, leaving only three inner gimbal engines to sustain thrust for the booster. Two seconds later, Starship's engines will activate, facilitating separation from the booster. During this transition, the hot staging mechanism introduced in Flight 2 will continue to play a crucial role, dissipating heat and pressure to safeguard both the ship and booster. SpaceX's thorough validation of this system post-wet dress rehearsal ensures its reliability for Flight 3. After parting ways, the two stages embark on their separate trajectories. Following separation, the booster undergoes engine relight at around T plus 2 minutes 55 seconds. This crucial step, known as engine relight, aims to rectify the failure experienced during Starship Flight 2, where booster engines either failed to activate or were prematurely shut down. Among the speculated causes, fuel sloshing during separation is believed to be primary. SpaceX's focus is now on addressing these issues, ensuring post-separation engine functionality to facilitate a controlled landing. Approximately a minute later, at around T plus 3 minutes 50 seconds, the booster's boostback engines gradually disengage as it navigates towards a controlled descent. By T plus 6 minutes 36, the booster enters the transonic phase. 10 seconds thereafter, the landing engine activates for roughly 20 seconds, aiding the booster in adjusting its posture and descent towards the sea surface. At approximately T plus 7 minutes and 4 seconds, the landing engine deactivates and the booster completes completes its mission by safely landing in the sea. Meanwhile, Starship, upon separation from the booster, initiates its own engines, comprising three sea-level engines and three vacuum engines to continue its journey to orbit. SpaceX prioritizes engine reliability, underscored by an engine swap in early February before integration into the Orbital Launch Mount, or OLM. Notably, modifications to fuel control are underway to prevent leaks which proved detrimental during the second flight, as highlighted by Elon Musk. Successful execution of this operation will propel Starship into orbit, aligning with Musk's declaration. Achieving orbit marks a significant milestone eagerly awaited by many, yet beyond this achievement, numerous exciting developments await on the horizon. About 8 minutes and 35 seconds post-launch, the Starship engine will cease operation, marking the initiation of two pivotal missions in SpaceX's itinerary. Firstly, around T plus 11 minutes 56, SpaceX will execute the payload door open and close procedure, crucial for testing the reliability of this system and ensuring smooth payload deployment in orbit. Subsequently, SpaceX will undertake the second mission assigned by NASA, the Propellant Transfer Demo. This operation entails transferring cryogenic liquid fuel from the header tank to the main, validating the functionality of cryogenic fuel in a vacuum environment and laying the groundwork for a ship-to-ship -ship refueling system in future flights. Following these missions, Starship will replicate a vital step akin to its counterpart, reigniting its engines in space at around T plus 40 minutes 46 seconds. These engines will guide Starship for re-entry at approximately T plus 49 minutes and 5 seconds. As per the previous plan, Starship will execute a belly flop maneuver to re-enter the atmosphere, aided by the heat shield system. Post wet dress rehearsal, Thorough checks ensure the safety of this system. By T plus 1 hour, 2 minutes and 16 seconds, Starship will transition into a transonic and subsonic state. Guided by landing engines, Starship will approach the ocean surface, splashing down at approximately T plus 1 hour and 4 minutes 39 seconds. However, with the latest update, Starship's landing trajectory has been modified. Instead of circumnavigating three quarters around the Earth before landing, it will now touch down in the Indian Ocean region. SpaceX sites this new flight path enables us to attempt new techniques like in-space engine burns while maximizing 
public safety. Exciting developments lie ahead on the next flight. With numerous upgrades and preparations underway, we anticipate the successful execution of the aforementioned processes, marking a significant milestone for the Starship system and heralding a new era of development for SpaceX and Starship. This achievement will serve as the cornerstone for humanity's endeavors in launching people and cargo into orbit with a reusable system, paving the way for lunar exploration, Martian colonization, and beyond. Only a few days remain, dear friends. Prepare yourselves and join us in the enthralling journey known as Starship Flight 3. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.